I got big news. I don't even know where to start. So much that happened since the last vlog. I don't know how else to tell you guys. All right guys, just so much news that I don't even know how to contain it. Matter of fact, let's find out. Hey Sarge. Good to see you. Hey, Officer Roberts. Good Hi, to see you. How are you? I'm okay. Good. I just got one question for you. What's the question? Did you hear the news today? We did, did not hear the news today. They didn't hear the news today. But wait, wait. Nick, what's the news? You gotta watch the vlog. You Dang. gotta watch the vlog. All right, so, so far, people haven't heard the news. We've been keeping it quiet. It's been good. Oh, you know what Officer Byers. Have you heard the news today? Have you heard the news today? I haven't heard the news today. I don't know the news today. He doesn't know the news today. Let me know when you hear the news. Have you heard the news today? <laughs> hey guys. Good to see you, sorry. How's everything? Sir, How are you doing? how's everything? One quick question for you guys. Have you heard the news today? No, I haven't. Sure, okay. sure, no. sure, sure. No. Weak. Look at this, guys. It's like a vlog reunion. Look at this. Hey, real quick. Sorry, Jackson, how you doing? How you doing? Have you heard the news today? I heard the news today. You heard the news today? Yeah. What's the news? I don't know. He doesn't know the news today. <laughs> All right, guys. I know they're not going to let me down. They got to know the news today. Let's find out. It's the social media team. Good morning, guys. Do you know the news today? I guess they don't know the news today. Morning. I'll bring it down. Hey, what's, up? Right, what's going on? Morning, man. Caesar. You know. They don't know. Ten know. bucks? Alright. So as you know, we usually post videos once a week. And usually from week to week, we would pick up around a thousand subscribers. But since the last vlog we put up a week ago, we have gained about 10,000 new subscribers. What? What? <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of subscribers. And my mind is just blown. Trying to figure out, wrap my head around it, how this is happening. Went to YouTube Analytics, reviewed some of the numbers, and I thought, wait a minute, who better to ask than you guys? So how did you hear about us? Was it A, a friend? Was it B, through YouTube, maybe another vlogger? We came in through a suggested channel. Was it C, from one of our other platforms, like Facebook or Instagram? You guys saw we threw up a trailer, and you're like, oh man, let me go check that out on YouTube. Or D, you guys are a day one sub, so all my day one subs. What's up? Or maybe it was E, none of the above, and just fill in the blank. So how did you hear about us? Let us know down below in the comments. On to the second big announcement of the vlog. We got our shirts in. Check it out. About 150 shirts we got in for the vlog. So now comes the difficult part. How do we get these shirts out to you guys? So maybe you guys can help us out and let us know in the comments below how you think would be a good idea. We don't plan on selling the shirts. We only have a limited amount. So we're trying to find a creative way to get these shirts out to you guys. So if you have any suggestions, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, next vlog, we'll plan on making that determination of how we're gonna get these shirts out to you. Uh, we're gonna be racking our brains here in the office. Think, think, think. We don't know yet, so. All right, let me put it back in. Guys, I mean, this is like so much news, but guess what? We have more big news. Check it out. Something really cool. Are you ready? We got a fridge. Eh? Eh? Okay, maybe it's not really that cool, but what is cool is you guys will now be getting this. Fridge cam! Oh yes, we took it there. Fridge cam. Who's gonna be the next victim? Is it gonna be Caesar? Is it gonna be Tisha? I don't know, stay tuned to future vlogs to find out who's the first victim of the fridge cam. And finally, if you haven't noticed, I'm in the tactical robbery threads uniform. That means today we're gonna to be riding 
with tactical robbery. So enough talk, let's go. Getting ready to go with the tactical robbery unit. I'm gonna don my vest. And like on other vlogs before, I'll be switching from the GoPro that I'll have mounted on my chest to the handheld, you know, that's just for officer safety reasons. So I'm just waiting down here until the uh, tactical robbery officer arrives, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, my ride has arrived. Officer Melendres! Hello. What's my up, partner, man? My old partner. That's right. Hey, listen, listen. You got some big expectations. These guys are waiting for True. And finally, the day has arrived. The True Vlog. Let's go. We ready? Oh, you ready? You ready? I'm, I'm ready. Right, time to get in. All right. Officer Melendres. Or as I like to call him, Bert. Bert. Bert, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long you been on? Been on 12 years now. Going on 12 now. All right, what'd you do before this? I was in patrol for most of the time, then I went to PST for two years. Okay. Worked the core way area there, and now I'm in uh, the tactical robbery unit. Basically, the tactical robbery unit function is to apprehend violent felons, which include like armed robbery, carjackings, all that stuff. Murder suspects. Murder suspects work uh, together with the detectives, the robbery detectives. When they get their offenders, right, their names, locations where they might be, they pass it on to the tactical robbery unit. They will pick them up, uh, work in an undercover capacity. They drive uh, undercover cars, but they do wear uniforms. Tactical robbery. So you guys work as a team? Yeah, of course. Yeah. They have very violent um, criminals where they deal with. Working as a team, being prepared, that's why we do some of the workups. So we know what we're getting into. Alright, so what's going on is the tactical robbery unit uh, works together sometimes with the fugitive apprehension team, that's the FAT squad. So uh, we got a phone call in regards to one of the fugitive of apprehension uh, detectives has an eyeball on a subject that is wanted and uh, we're gonna go assist and pick him up. Apparently he's supposed to be hanging out in front of this Walgreens here. Uh, he just took a seat on. Uh, and then we're gonna approach him. It seems like a light pole on the concrete uh, light pole there. That's uh, right just outside of, uh, of the Walgreens on the north side. All right, pulling up to the scene. I'm gonna turn off the handheld. Yeah, you right. Yes, sir. All Uh, so we got a call from the future apprehension team. The subject is wanted, <clears throat> called for assistance. We came and we took him down and we continue working. That's just another... It's uh, an everyday thing, yeah. It's an everyday thing. by uh, four black males yeah, just south of us, about a mile away. Um, it, they were driving a black Dodge Charger. So uh, we're gonna canvas the area. It literally just went out maybe uh, a couple minutes ago. So. The second subject is gonna be a black male also, about 5'10", 200 to 230 pounds, wearing a white t-shirt. 
with our brown graphics. He's gonna have dark shorts and uh, possibly armed with a uh, dark handgun in his uh, waistband. Here's him. So it's nighttime. Uh, still looking for that black charger. Seen a couple in the area. We got one up ahead. Let's see if this is gonna be the car. Fifteen black. Twelve and six Dodge. Two out of nineteen. Four door. I'm with him. So you guys seen on the previous vlogs, uh, I ran. I was uh, in one of the LPRs. This one's a little different. It's unmarked. Got no uh, seals on it. Give it that little bit of an edge. Um, still dressed up with the push bars and the whole light kit. Officer Merced. How you doing? Officer? All right. Tell me, tell me, what, what do we have here? What is that? This is called an LPR. It's a license plate reader. Oh. What it basically does is it reads off all the plates and runs all the plates to make sure that it's not stolen. Uh, it gives you all the back of the information and okay. whether if your license is suspended. All right, and this one here is assigned, assigned to the tactical robbery unit? Yeah, this one's assigned to the tactical robbery unit. A lot of people that, uh, that rob, they use stolen cars, so okay. it's a good tool to have. But like before, it has the four cameras on top in different angles, different directions to read uh, license plates. And the inside, Officer Merced, can you open up? More or less the same as a police car? It's more or less the same as a police car, just a little bit more sophisticated. It has, uh, you know, the LPR readers on it. It has a, have another computer in there to run other tags and stuff like that. So I technically have like two computers. inside and uh, this one's equipped with a cage as you notice uh, a lot of the guys are in cars that don't have cages so if uh, need be transported we transport um, in this here in the tactical robbery unit or we'll get a unit to come by and help us out a patrol unit then we gotta go so all right thank you officer Reset. you're the man We're working in an undercover capacity, so a lot of times these guys don't even know we're behind them. What's up? No, we're looking for that black charger that uh, was it involved in a robbery. Mm -hmm. We stopped this one that had dark tints, couldn't see inside. Uh, as soon as I walked up, smelled the uh, strong odor of marijuana. I asked him for his license, no license. And search engine to arrest uh, showed the uh, little... Uh, what do you have? Let me see. Vial here with uh, marijuana. Little All right, gold. so typically, we're not. this is not what we're looking for, but when we come across it, 
you know, we're still police officers. We yeah. got We were able to uh, PTA him, which is? Which is, uh, he'll he'll be able to sign the paperwork, the arrest form, and he has, he'll get a court date to go to court uh, without going to jail. And uh, he'll have to see a judge in a month or two. All right, towards the end of the shift, we're gonna head back to the station and we have to turn in the uh, drugs that we got. So head back to the station now and uh, go to the property counter to show you guys a little bit about the property counter. So, what's this area called? The uh, property counter. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn in the evidence. We gotta wait, log in, put some information, print it out, package it, and uh, go to the counter over here and give it to the young ladies here. It's a property counter here. Oh, so uh, she's logging it in the system. It's a one. Then she'll put a sticker on here to track it. With the case number and all that good stuff. And we turn it into property. USB. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> All right. So tell me, what are you gonna do, man? I need to know. Give me a play-by-play. -play. All right. So we got two. Two. Okay. So this is where we turn our narcotics, guns, money, jewelry, and valuables. I knew that, I didn't rehearse that, it wasn't written right in front of me. Also on the other side we have general merchandise, envelopes, and knife cases. I knew that, uh, I, re I don't rehearse so where that. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, no. Oh. Right. <laughs> Goes All in out. there. It's over. To the back, right? Game over. When we have a case later on. We have a case, we got court for this, uh, for this incident. We've got to come back over here, get it out, take it back to court, present it to to uh, you know the state and the okay. defense and all that. Okay. And then what's this big this big thing for? That's when you have a big package of evidence. You know something that has to be packaged in a big box. That's where you just you put it in there. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's go. All right. So you saw how to turn in property. Officer Melendez, or I like to call him Bert, showed you how to turn in property. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the bolos. We didn't. But we're gonna keep trying every day. We keep trying. So we'll get them tomorrow. We'll get them tomorrow. All right. You wanna come? Oh. Next time with us. Uh oh. And try to get one. We owe you one. Uh oh. So come back whenever you want. There it is. We got the invite to come back. And for sure, we'll be back sooner than later. We'll ride with uh, Bert. See if we can get one of those bolos. Last but not least, you saw a little bit of what Truth does. And now it's your turn to sign off, buddy. You I got it. I got it. I got, got it. it. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh! Killed it. One take. That's it. My man. That's all I need. All right, appreciate it. You got it. You be safe. You too. And we'll be back. You got it. All right, guys. Adios. Cheers, cake. <laughs> <laughs>